Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special video. It's going to be a Loot Crate unboxing. This this is upside down, of course it is. So yeah, got a aliens boop boop. They're coming out of the goddamn walls, man, they're coming out of the goddamn walls. In space, no one can hear you scream. Oh no, not again. Admittedly, that last one wasn't from an alien movie. It was from Spaceballs. Same actor, though. Jonathan, John Hurt? Or Jonathan Hurt. Uh, may you rest in peace. So, after I get this darn thing open... Somehow... For not to open up like an eep. <sighs> right, so first things first, we have a wonderful face hugger pin with the egg. Uh, next, we've got. A little alien final figure. There's two boxes of these. Uh, so yeah, there's a few different ones it could be. Um, could be one of these here. Could be one of these at the front. Could be one of these here. Uh, don't. It's probably not this one. I'm pretty sure the box is too small for that. And um, here's the second one. We'll get to those in a minute. Uh, here's the uh, little CO that held the box together. Okay, next thing is a wonderful Waylon Yutani shirt. Uh, for whatever reason, it's extra small. Not really sure why, but whatever. And here we go, it's the power loader. Or if you're a fan of Reboot, it's the exoskeleton suit. <laughs> Yeah, that was in, uh, Aliens, the second movie. Uh, you might notice that it says, a uh, Archeron Colony, or, sorry, Atron Colony. Uh, and that's the name the that was given to the colony that was established on the planet from the first movie, where, you know, King... And one, they became a host for the creature. Okay, so there's this thing here, and these things here. So, now the box is empty. See? Alright, so we got, uh... Uh... This? Telling you what's in it. Uh, and here we go. Uh, United States Colonial Marines. Not to be confused with United Systems Military. And of course, we also have uh, Building Better World. Ta-da! Dollar mug. Is there anything inside? Washing instructions. So, you know, if you've got a mug like this, then, you know, follow the directions. Ah, 
Oh, okay, it's a uh, stainless steel thermos. Do not use in a microwave or a dishwasher. Okay. Hand wash after each use. Do not use bleach or cleansers containing chlorine to clean. Wash all parts in warm soapy water before using. So I should wash that before I start using it. Do not exceed product capacity. Make sure the lid is actually on before taking a drink. Otherwise you're just a hot mess. And so is the mug. Or, sorry. Thermos. Uh, keep out of reach of children. If it's got, like, hot coffee in it. But not hot coffee, if you know what I mean. Grand Theft Auto joke. Yeah, it is dusty in here, wow. So, yeah, building better worlds. Cheers. Okay, maybe I should have said two building better worlds. Cheers. Oh well. She look yeah, let's go ahead and do that again. Um <coughs> to building better worlds. Cheers. Clink. <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to do that. Uh bank. Into the box you go. Along with the wash instructions. I don't need them. This little ball of tin foil. Alright, now we get to uh, these bad boys. doing that thing. Oh well. Finally at the Shattered Throne step for Isnagi's Burden, Destiny 2. Uh, nobody seems to be interested though, so... Yeah. Right, so, uh, we got a... This? This is the... the plastic package they're in. Uh, upright 2018. And to tell us me these are courtesy of Alien Covenant. Wow, hello. We have the first xenomorph. <coughs> you know the one that splattered Lambert with fake blood. Of course the actors who played Lambert didn't know that was gonna happen. It was kind of a cruel trick, but hey, you know, it's a horror movie. Saying some. Hold on. I'm just gonna see what that actress is up to. Ah, Veronica Cartwright. Uh, let's see, so... She was in The Birds, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Alien. She's also an ER in The X-Files. She's gonna join the cast of General Hospital. Or rather, she did, about a year ago. Yeah, The Birds was a old 60s Hitchcock movie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but. Oh, she was in the Scary Movie, too. Hmm. Uh, she's also in Leave It to Beaver. 
one of those uh, black and white sitcoms, like a uh, Dick Van Dyke show. I think that's one. Uh, other stuff here. Uh, she was in Will and Grace, Chicago Hope, Touched by an Angel, uh, Six Feet Under, Law and Order SVU. Uh, but, it's Criminal Minds, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So. Uh, she was also in Supernatural. She's dead. It doesn't say she did. She died, so... Yeah, but she's, uh, 71. Hmm. Alright, well, that's enough about that. Let's get to the other one. about that? We got Ellen Ripley. Fight, fight, fight. No, no kissing that. That comes later. Like, a lot later. In, uh, Alien Resurrection. I mean, I guess you could call that a kiss. Uh, oh, I'm, yeah, Ripley uh, gets her own gun. So, uh, okay. I'm just trying to figure out how I should put this thing on. Just go like on like this. I don't 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 know. I think this is how you do it. I'm not sure. I've never actually had any of these before. Um, the only uh, vinyl figures I have are uh, either pop vinyl or uh, U2s. Like that Spiker Soul is over there. Oh, sorry, there's also a Batman vinyl figure from, uh, something else. I'm not sure what company it is, though. Um, what company was that? Uh, looks like, a QMX? Q-Pop? Yeah. Uh. <sighs> oh, what's that? You want to see my shirt? It's the, uh, Destiny 2 Solstice of Heroes shirt from, uh, was it 2018 or 2019? I'm not sure. I have to look at my email for that.
Mm -hmm. Kind of punchy parts. Former. Okay, yeah, it looks like it was 2018. Uh, about two years ago. That's cool. Alright, so thanks for playing up with me today. I know that wasn't a typical video, because I don't really do a lot of these unboxings. Um, I think this is actually my third one I've done, period. Um, but hey, you know, uh, maybe I'll do one for Destiny 2's Beyond Light. So I'm getting that for the PS4. Uh, like I did the Elder Scrolls Greymore, Elder Scrolls Online Greymore Collector's Edition. So I'm getting the Destiny 2 Beyond Light Collector's Edition for the PS4. It's going to have a Exo Stranger statue, plus uh, the Four Season Passes, and DLC, um, what, what else did it have again? Um, Beyond Light. Ah, here we go. So yeah, I ordered it through them. Um, I already got the, uh, what was it, the Ghost in the, um, yeah, I already got the pre-order bonus emailed to me, so... There's that. Um... So yeah, it comes with the, uh... Seasons 12 up to 15. Uh, no time to explain Pulse Rifle, the exotic. The ornament, the catalyst... Um, plus a sparrow and a freeze tag emote. Exotic sparrow. And the Predator bonus um, was, I think, the emote in the. Yeah, I don't remember if I got freeze tank from this or not. Um, but now I got the shell and the emblem, the ghost shell and the emblem from the game already. But I don't know if freeze tank came with it. Um. Now the one emblem, or sorry, the one emote I don't have that I'd like to is that Pennywise dance one from, uh, what was it, Festival of the Lost last year? I wonder if they'll do it again this year. Probably, right? Um, I got myself a new webcam, so I might notice the... Images, image quality is a little different. So uh, yeah, that was uh, my Alien Loot Crate unboxing video. And now, I guess I will bid you adieu. Goodbye now.